Hey there, welcome to today's video. When's the last time you saw the sun? Like, really saw it, not through your office window or from the glow bouncing off your steering wheel. If your answer is, um, does Netflix light count? This video's for you. Today, we're talking about one of the sneakiest and most underrated reasons you might feel tired, moody, foggy, or just not quite yourself. Vitamin D deficiency. And don't worry, this isn't a boring science class. We're keeping it light, a little funny, and super helpful. So grab a comfy seat and hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love feeling good, thinking clearly, and leveling up your health one habit at a time. What is vitamin D really? Let's start with the basics. Vitamin D isn't just a vitamin, it's more like a hormone, and your body makes it naturally when sunlight hits your skin. It plays a huge role in helping your body absorb calcium, aka strong bones, but it also affects your immune system, brain function, mood, energy levels, even your sleep patterns. So if you're running low, it can mess with a whole bunch of stuff without you realizing it. Here's the twist. Even though it's super important, millions of people around the world aren't getting enough. In fact, vitamin D deficiency is now so common, some experts say it's a quiet global health concern. Why? Keep watching, we're about to dig in. Why is vitamin D deficiency so common now? All right, let's be honest, our ancestors didn't have this problem. They were outdoorsy folks, hunting, farming, gathering, sunbathing without SPF 50. Today, we live differently. We're indoor creatures now. Between offices, cars, homes, and the occasional grocery run, we've become what I like to call modern cave dwellers with Wi-Fi. Here are a few big reasons why vitamin D deficiency has become the norm. One, we stay indoors a lot. The average person spends over 90% of their time indoors. That's right, 90. And even when we step outside, we're covered in hats, hoodies, sunscreen, sunglasses, like we're hiding from the sun, not soaking it up. Your body can only make vitamin D when bare skin meets direct sunlight. So if your only sun exposure is walking to the mailbox, yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Two, where you live matters. If you live far from the equator, sunlight during the winter months is super limited. Even on sunny days, the UVB rays needed for vitamin D production just don't reach your skin the same way. So yes, if it's cloudy, rainy, or snowy for half the year in your area, your body might not be getting enough vitamin D even if you do go outside. Three, sunscreen and protective clothing. Yes, sunscreen is important. No one wants to look like a tomato, but the same thing that protects your skin from damage also blocks the UVB rays that trigger vitamin D production. It's a bit of a catch-22. That doesn't mean ditch sunscreen entirely, it just means we might need to be more mindful of balance. Four, your diet probably isn't helping. Very few foods naturally contain vitamin D, unless you're regularly eating fatty fish like salmon or sardines, egg yolks, fortified dairy or plant-based milks, or fortified cereals, then your diet alone may not be giving you enough. And let's face it, most of us are more likely to order a breakfast sandwich than eat wild-caught mackerel on a Tuesday morning. 5. Skin tone plays a role Your skin tone is part of what makes you beautifully you. And believe it or not, it also plays a role in how much sunlight your body might need. Darker skin has more melanin, which is a natural protector against UV rays. That's amazing in many ways, but it also means that if you have deeper skin tones, your body may need a little more time in the sun to make the same amount of vitamin D. It's not a bad thing, just something to be aware of, so you can give your body exactly what it needs to thrive. Common signs of deficiency. Here's the kicker. Vitamin D deficiency can be silent for a long time, but some signs might give it away. Do any of these sound familiar? You feel tired or sluggish even after a decent night's sleep. You're catching cold more often than usual. Your mood's been low and you don't know why. You have trouble concentrating or staying motivated. You've got muscle aches or bone pain out of nowhere. Or you just feel off. Of course, these symptoms could be from a million things, stress, bad sleep, junk food binges, but if they stick around, it's worth asking your doctor to check your vitamin D levels. How to fix it naturally. Okay, let's talk solutions, because we're not here to panic, we're here to glow up. Here's what you can do to naturally boost your vitamin D levels. One, get some sun, smartly. Soak up some sun, but skip the extra crispy setting. Just aim for 10 to 30 minutes of sunlight on your arms, legs, or face a few times a week. Go for walks, eat lunch outside, garden, dance in the driveway, whatever gets you outdoors and moving. Morning sun is great, not just for vitamin D, but for resetting your body clock and improving sleep later on. Two, add D-rich foods to your diet. Here's your grocery cheat sheet. 
salmon, sardines, tuna, egg yolks, fortified cow's milk, almond milk, soy milk, fortified cereals or oatmeal, mushrooms exposed to UV light. Yes, that's a thing. You don't need to eat them all every day. Just make a few swaps where you can. Three, consider a supplement. If you're not getting enough from food or sun, supplements can be a solid option. Vitamin D3 is the most effective form. They're generally safe and inexpensive, but don't go mega dosing without checking with a healthcare provider. Remember, more isn't always better. And if you're already deficient, your doctor might recommend higher doses for a short time to get you back on track. Four, fix your sleep and stress habits. Vitamin D also works better in a healthy, balanced body. So manage your stress, aim for quality sleep, move your body, and try to eat whole foods as much as possible. So there you have it, the mystery of vitamin D solved. It's not just about sunshine, it's about paying attention to how you feel, how you live, and making small changes that add up. Go outside, eat smart, ask questions. Your body can feel better, and your energy might just bounce back faster than you expect. If this video opened your eyes or reminded you to open your blinds, drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe for more content that helps you live brighter every single day. And hey, go stand in the sun for five minutes. You've earned it. Stay sharp, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.